way with Eloy here with the filmmaker and cast of A Teacher, if you guys want to introduce yourselves. I'm Hannah Fidel, I wrote and directed the movie. I'm Lindsay Burge, and I play Diana, the teacher. I'm Will Britton, and I play Derek. Uh, so you guys are at Sundance um, in January, kind of part of this unspoken, inappropriate relationship <laughs> section that kind of came out of nowhere. Um, so when you first started making the film, was that something that you foresaw? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, it just seemed like the, the right story to tell. Mm -hmm. So where did it all start for you? Like, are you guys from Texas? I know you work a lot with Texas filmmakers. I'm a Texan. So. Oh, you are? Mm -hmm. From Austin? Or? No, from Dallas. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, Will's from Texas. Where are you from? Uh, a small town in northeast Texas called Atlanta. Have you heard of it? Wow, that must be real small. I have no Texarkana. Right, it's like 20 minutes south of there. Mm -hmm. it's so how did you start making the film? Uh, I was living in Austin okay. at the time, and um, and I came up with this idea. I was working at a restaurant in Austin, and there was a, a high school boy who walked in, and he was wearing his Letterman jacket, mm -hmm. and um, I immediately got this idea of making a story uh, about an older woman, a younger guy, a fair, uh, I didn't talk to this guy once, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but that was that. So tell me about being in Texas and actually getting the film made, and who were some of the people that were influential as far as finding your DP and, and putting a team together? Sure, so I, I had actually worked uh, with Andrew, the DP, mm -hmm. before, um, and much of the crew strangely came from Missouri. Interesting. Yeah, there's a big um, contingent of folks out there. But everyone else was Austin based and I got a lot of help from Kat Candler, who's another filmmaker mm -hmm. down there and she teaches at UT as well. She's had many shorts at Sundance. Mm -hmm. um, and from James Johnson and, and Toby Halbrooks who produce Eighth and Body Stains. And yeah. it's just, everyone is so helpful uh, mm -hmm. and nice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the city is no stranger to filmmaking. Right. Mm -hmm. um, which is a good thing and a bad thing, but, but mostly a good thing. Yeah. Well, and how did you find these two? I'm curious about the casting process because you do you guys have such great chemistry, and that's crucial to the story. So what was the casting process like for finding them? I wrote the part for Lindsay, okay. uh, so I knew from the start that she was going to play the teacher. And how did you guys know each other? Um, we made a shorter film together in the past. Yes. Mm -hmm. We met um, in New York in a, at a production company where I was producing and Hannah was also working there, and we mm -hmm. uh, just met. Because we're yeah. both young people in the office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hannah wanted to make a film and she knew I was an actress and she just kinda like asked me to act That's like, awesome. pretty randomly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that that was a few years before we made a teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when the teacher came around, we were still friends. Yeah. So. <laughs> and how did you find Will? Will, uh, I had a, a general audition. Yeah, general audition. Um, in Austin, and mm -hmm. he came in, and, and he came in a few times, and had them read together, and mm -hmm. the chemistry was great. And that was the key point, which like doesn't yeah. always happen, actually, because mm -hmm. we got to read together. Yeah, which was awesome. One right. Thing that's so wonderful about Hannah, it's like so collaborative, and 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 I did a lot of casting also, and I think we discussed just like how important it was going to be to have to make sure that that mm -hmm. was going to work. Yeah. Also, if you're going to spend a month uh, with someone, you should like them yeah. as a person, too. So. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you guys have so many intimate scenes, and what's interesting is, you know, in the film, your character is so much older than, than Eric, who is in high school. And um, so actually doing those scenes, you are older, I'm supposing, than, than Will is. So, how was it like directing those really intimate sex scenes and, and for you guys, I mean, bravo, you put yourself out there, but <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it was a challenge. It was a challenge, but these guys are pros, so... You are too. <laughs> Thanks, <Rita. laughs> uh, Really, I just made sure and everyone on the team made sure that they felt as comfortable as possible and, mm -hmm. and we 
made sure that only the necessary people were in the room when we were showing right. yeah. those scenes, and we talked about it and talked about the yeah. choreography, mm -hmm. uh, and, and really, I mean, I was just so impressed with you guys for trusting me mm -hmm. <laughs> to do this. Full of ideas. She has such great, <laughs> like such great little ideas, and she spins them and. Sometimes we go with them, and sometimes other things happen. Well, so I'm curious, you know, you guys have had great success on the festival circuit, and the film is controversial in that it is kind of this story of predator and prey, when I think it's easy to get wrapped up in the love story, and then we go, wait, this well, is still... Well, who do you think is the predator, and who's the prey? Well, that's what changes, <laughs> and I was going to ask you, so when, you're, when you were writing the script and navigating the film, how did you play with the fact that that role does switch on and off and between the two characters? You know, I, I knew that I wanted to make something that wasn't concrete and, right. mm -hmm. and obvious. Mm -hmm. So, um, by being able to play with the power dynamic within the relationship, mm -hmm. um, much like another film with a similar name, The Piano Teacher, which yes. I don't know if you've seen, but yeah. um, it obviously it was a huge inspiration for this film. Mm -hmm. But also I think that's that... Uh, yesterday, I think that um, that's just something that's true to relationships. Like even mm -hmm. if you, there's one person who may seem in control and then suddenly you look and everything's yeah. switched and it's changing all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what's interesting about relationships, mm -hmm. I think. And, and that's what was so great about what Hannah wrote is that there were all these opportunities to explore the moments where um, you know she would put her foot down and say, yeah. no, this can't happen or whatever, or at the moments where he would be totally in control. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it in terms of like who has power, but that's the tribute to the writer. That's interesting. Right. And, uh, and just playing the scene. Yeah, 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 you should be thinking about that. Really great, so. you know, yeah. It, but it wasn't like a line. It, to you, you know? it also wasn't like a line. No, mm -hmm. it's in the dance. way some stories are. Yeah, it yeah. looks like it's like it's got conversation power with the back and forth. Yeah. Right. So being a female filmmaker and being your debut film and making a film that is a little bit controversial because you're a female protagonist. It doesn't there's no clear victory in the end. Like has yeah. that drummed up conversations about female rights and love and power and I I only uh, got asked once and it was actually in Austin yeah. about why I would show a woman, you know, not befalling her emotions. Exactly, yeah. As a woman, how dare I, you know, not mm -hmm. show women in a positive way? But I, mm -hmm. I just feel like we're not perfect. So why can I explore this? It's this also yeah. side. It's also interesting because I noted pretty early on. I was like, we haven't been interviewed by a single woman, and we we did eventually. Like you might be like one of like the second really? or third yeah. female, which just is shocking to me. And we had a question earlier today, which actually like stopped me a minute. Like for a while, I kind of lost track of what was happening because somebody asked, you know, why we like why we didn't follow more of what's going on with his character. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> would you ever <laughs> ask that things. about the female supporting? Not that you're coding, yeah. yeah. but I mean, it's no, they, yeah, would, no, they would absolutely. never. No one ever asked. No, <laughs> I was just like stunned. I, I, Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, congrats. The film is Thank fantastic. You so much. And I do love that you take risks with it as far as what you're saying about females and faults and love and all yeah. that. So thanks, guys, so Thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah, of course.